Guys, I have a new Billingham to show you guys. <laughs> I am not a raincoat here to keep you warm. But go back in the closet after the storm. I'm not a match simply waiting to burn. All I am is a friend, your friend till the end. Good day folks, I'm super excited. You've seen the title, you know today's vlog is about the Billingham, right? Okay, well it's not a full blown review because I only had it for a few days so I don't have enough time to uh, conduct my usual thorough review but you know that I'm a Billingham fan, a long term Billingham users and I have <laughs> a ton of bags at home, uh, you know, for different occasions. <laughs> uh, so I know the quality, I know exactly how it functions, I know all the materials that they use, uh, basically everything. So I'm not going to go through it um, uh, in details in this particular vlog, but I will show you what it looks like, my first impression of it, uh, how much gear you can fit in this bag, because I have my backpack full of gear today, so I can show you, because this is my me time. So I'm going to utilize my me time to do some photographs along this beaten track here. Um, and, uh, but I have a little bit of noise because I'm quite close to the motorway, and uh, so sorry about that if you hear anything like quite distracting. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do some photography first, so you can follow me around to see uh, what I'm going to do around here for the first half of this video. But if you want to skip straight to the back, you can uh, check the uh, the bookmarker thing, you know, in the description, then they go straight to the, the bit I'm gonna talk about the Billingham back. Um, yeah, so you can skip through the old photography stuff. But I'm pretty sure that you're photographers, right? You're gonna stay tuned and, you know, see what I'm doing. Okay, today is Tuesday. It's a big day for Billingham because they're announcing this very back here that you're gonna see in a minute. Tomorrow is also a big day for Olympus because that's the announcement day, right? And uh, yeah, I, I cannot, I, I really cannot wait for to, to, to see that. Uh, it's going to be super exciting. And uh, I know as much as you, so basically nothing. Uh, I only got a phone call literally an hour before the, uh, uh, the, the that announcement of the announcement last week. Uh, so like, yeah, really, I had, they didn't tell me anything. They just say, oh, something's going to announce in an hour uh, for the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the exact words that I got. But uh, anyway, you know, I'm going to do some photographs here, which is actually quite interesting. I'm going to show you this path here. And I'm pretty sure you can see that it's actually quite interesting. You've got a lot of details, a lot of tree leaves. You've got a path here. So I'm trying to do some low angle shot here to see exactly whether uh, it works well or not in this sort of setup. I'm going to use my uh, Olympus 25mm 1.2 um, first before I go and test the TTR Design 4D mm 2.8 macro. Uh, I just want to see if I can get some close up shots. And uh, I did find the mushrooms, you know, and uh, but. Yeah, it just wasn't quite there because the mushroom is huge and uh, I can't shoot the huge mushroom with a macro lens, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So I, I did use a 25 1.2 again to do that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's it, it just weird. But anyway, um, let's do some photography before I can talk to you guys about the back. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, I, I love that shot. I shot at 1.2, wide open. Um, the landscape, yes, I know most people will stop down, but for this particular one, I think um, I got a shot with the autumn leaf on the actual path itself, with the forest uh, surrounding it, you know, creating that um, a really lovely focus point. And also the leading line of the path definitely works. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's good. Let's move on to the next location. Guess what? I just found some snails on the tree here, which I can test my macro lens. <laughs> okay, they're not as elegant as uh, mushrooms or any other usual suspect for macro photography, but um, let, let, let's give it a try to see what, what it looks like. You might have seen Sultan Block already review this lens and uh, his recommendation is not to recommend it. <laughs> so you have to wait for my review to see what this lens is about. And uh, so far, 
you know, there are some good things, there are some not so good things. I wouldn't say it's bad, bad. You know, I know that he talked about the reflections inside the lens, but um, yeah, wait for my full reviews to, to see exactly what that translates into photography terms. But what can I say about the price at this moment in time? $99, under 100 for a proper one-to-one -one macro lens. Hello, the snail. Oh, yes. I'm going to get so close to you that I might be screaming. I come to this interesting part here because it's got a huge puddle of water here. So lots of reflections. So what I'm trying to do is use this macro lens to get close to one of the leaves floating and uh, hopefully I can get a kind of like a really nice shallow depth of field shot um, with some sort of interesting reflection background. So let's see how it goes. So, okay, I found this green leaf here and uh, just to see whether it's, uh, it's worth tracking out. Okay, what I do notice is a drop of water actually on the leaf. Um, hand holding is going to be a little bit difficult, so uh, I have to borrow the tripod that I'm using right now uh, for filming this uh, to try to get a shot. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, right, uh, you wouldn't believe me <laughs> because of how low I got and uh, the front of le the lens is actually touching the water. <laughs> I want to just show you this. I just want to show you this. It's just incredible. Um, just, just look at this. Right, but I did get a good shot. And, uh, uh, I got the water droplet on the leaf. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful. I, th I think anyway, it looks quite nice. And, uh, so I shot it at let me see now, I shot it at, uh, I believe it's f3.5. Um, uh, I did try 2.8, but it's just a, just a tad too shallow. And I don't want to stop it down to, um, uh, let's say uh, 5.6, even f8, to get more shallow depth, uh, more depth of view. Only because I want to have the separations there just for that particular um, uh, uh, water drop on the leaf. But yeah, it, it looks it looks kind of interesting, but <laughs> my setup just looks ridiculous. Uh, but you know, I don't care, you know, it's for photography. It's a lot of squirrels around us. It's the season, right? They have to start accumulating the food for the hibernation. Actually, do squirrels actually hibernate? Do they still coming out in winter time? I'm actually not sure. I might be saying the wrong thing. So kids, if you're watching this, don't trust me. No, don't trust any word I'm saying in this video. It's bad for you. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Look at this massive field of uh, sunflowers I'm not, I'm not joking wow <laughs> holy smoke i haven't been here for four months the transformation around here is <laughs> unbelievable i didn't know that they planted all these sunflowers here and to be quite honest it's actually quite quite amazing and uh, i could imagine when it's all blossoming you know this view would be the perfect place for photography and I completely missed it done okay right it is time to talk a little bit about the brand new Eventer Mini and uh, well it's not a full-blown review like I said but I will talk to you about how much you can fit in this bag and also very briefly the design changes compared to the original Eventer um, first of all I would say that this bag is surprisingly a shockingly practical I have my uh, EM1 Mark III with the 25 1.2 Pro attached. You can still see that I've got a uh, plate here for the tripod. Yeah, managed to squeeze it all in in there. And I have the filter kit. Right, consider this is another lens because uh, Michael thought that lenses are quite small. So yeah, that's another one here. So two lenses, a body. The third lens, which I have here is the uh, 40 millimeters 2.8 macro, which I was testing earlier. So third lens, shocking, shocking. No, brace for this. This is even more shocking. I managed to fit this in. This is the 42152.8 Pro with the hood. <laughs> Not many back can do that in terms of shoulder back because this hood is quite massive, right? But these things can swallow still with room to wiggle around in there. So this is really, really, really roomy. Um, still got two front pockets for you to put snacks and extra battery, memory cards, uh, sanitizers, anything that you like. It's really genuinely practical bag uh, 
So it, it just shocked, shocked me in the way that uh, how much stuff you can actually fit in it because this is basically the kit that I would take for work on my, in my larger Eventer. The only thing that I can't fit is my laptop because now they have uh, 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 still got the pedal section here for you to put a tablet. So um, it's not quite a full blown size thing, you know, but if you are mobile content, uh, content creators, you use, uh, let's say an iPad to process your photos or videos. Yeah, this would actually work perfectly, but for me, for work, I mean, I, I rarely process my stuff uh, on the go. I mean, an iPad would definitely surf uh, surface, you know, for the work that I do, checking emails, maybe just uh, uh, to post some of the social stuff uh, online. So that is more than enough for that purpose. So that is really good. Uh, just like the original Eventer as well, it's got a back pocket for your documents, uh, so which is really, really good. Now let's talk a little bit about the design changes, right? First is the zip. The original has a really big, thick brass zip that I really enjoy, but now they updated it with a waterproof zip. Fantastic. I never had problem with the original uh, in terms of waterproofness or, or you know, weatherproofness because I've been I've been to a lot of places which is horrible, torrential rain, snowstorm and anything like that. And that that thing just survived. You just walk through it <laughs> and with this, with the updated waterproof zip, it means that it's just taking up a notch in terms of weatherproofness so you don't have to worry about it at all you know and uh, and the back zip is also made from the same zip so that means that the documents that are now protected as well which is good this is one thing that i mean i may have to say about the original the, the original wasn't weatherproof or nothing was comp uh, covering it so the document could get a little bit wet but the the, uh, the cameras wouldn't so that is okay um the front pocket also slightly different now because it's more headly now using push button to secure it instead of the leather strap like the original um so Overall, I think it's still very much an eventer. Oh, one more thing that I had added to the back is the luggage strap here. And uh, just like their latest Headley Pro 2020 and the Headley Pro Small and the Headley One, uh, they all have this little bit here for you to slot the uh, the back onto the trolley. So to save you some energy so you can get to your location and get shooting straight away and full of like this creative juice. Yes. Uh, anyway. Undoubtedly, this is still, you know, an eventer. You can look at the, the, the actual look of it, and I think it's just marvelous. Uh, all I can say to Billingham, though, you've done a marvelous job. Apart from you didn't make a yellow one, you know, like I said, you should make a yellow one for me, you know, just to, to match my clothing. Although, although actually the blue contrasts quite well with my yellow today. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just joking. But the blue looks gorgeous. The blue just, um, uh, you know, fantastic. And I uh, like my blue Headley Small Pro. Uh, uh, that is really gorgeous back as well. And uh, this new color we have, apparently has been quite popular. I saw a few different photographers have the same blue back uh, uh, over the last uh, couple of months, actually. So uh, it's shown that your blue has worked you know in the community and uh, it looks like it's one of the most popular color in 2021 so that's good anyway so this is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed it we made to give me a thumb and uh, click the sub button if you want to stay in touch all things photography filmmaking more billinghams and my life with my camera uh, through the years and uh, how's that so yeah stay tuned for that uh, anything else remember tomorrow is a big day for olympus and uh, yeah i can't wait for that Tell me, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about tomorrow and also, yeah, about the bag and also some of the stuff that I was doing earlier. Until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Weird. Okay, all done. I'm gonna pack up me time finish and uh, I'm gonna have to pick pick up the kids in a minute uh, also I'm gonna have some lunch I'm gonna I'm gonna be hungry otherwise it's an amazing day enjoy yourself wherever you are and uh, stay tuned for everything that I'm gonna do because uh, I'm having fun of kind of moving around at the moment because I haven't done it in a while so this could be my new style of this channel and uh, yeah definitely and desperately need to go out more because I'll be shooting too much at home this is next level uh, vlogging because uh, I'm using the iPhone, the iZD V2 uh, for the uh, subject tracking. Look, look what I can do now. I can actually use my tripod as a jib <laughs> because it's keep, it keeps tracking me. So I can actually do all kinds of angle here. Look at that, that's awesome. Bye for now. Whee!
He's following me. The camera is following me. No, no. <laughs>